Welcome to another Gibbs Cam version 14 video. Today we're going to show you a little bit about probing, which is brand new in version 14, which is coming out uh, this month actually. Um, you can see I have a part here um, and with a number of bosses and holes and rectangles, uh, a few things like that. And we want to probe this part, so we're going to show you a little bit how to do that. As you can see, this is the new probing routine. I have a, a few probes in here, my standard end mill, and I'm going to cut this with, as you can see. If I go to my uh, rendering here, you can see this is what I've machined already. And here I have my probe set up. Bring it over here. And you can see you can describe your uh, probe there. Number of different probes you could use ball, disc, cylinder, form. So, a number of different balls you can use for that. Um, I have a two and a half, three, but the most popular is usually what comes with the machines is a six millimeter or 0.236 diameter uh, ruby on the end of the probe, as you can see here. Zoom it up just a little bit. And I describe this uh, probe as millimeter. That's why it says millimeter. And that's why I have everything in here as millimeters. Okay, So you can change it to inch if you like, either way you'd like to do it. So I want to probe a number of features here. Now, mainly it uses geometry to probe. But there's a few things like um, the stock size that you can have it probe automatically. So we're going to go through some of these because I can't spend an hour on YouTube showing this. So we're going to show you this one first. You have my uh, operation. Let's just change processes here. You can see I have basic corners and shapes. So the first thing I want to do is uh, I'm going to probe some of these uh, faces here to get the depth here. So we're just choosing basic probing. Now what I did here is I drew points. Choose an empty tile here. I drew points on all the surfaces that I want to probe. As you can see, one here, one here, one here, one here. And uh, don't need that one there, but this one here and a couple over here as well. So I just drew points on here and, of course, did a, uh, for instance, on this one here. Just went to modify, did force depth. And you just alt-click the surface you want to go down to and select the point and put it down on there. So the first thing I'm going to do is probe. And I'm going to wrap and do about 3 eighths above the part. Usually with probes when I'm setting them up I usually start 3 eighths half inch above the surface I want to probe uh, when I'm doing Z. And the feed rate you can put that in there as well and depending on how you want the post to post it, it can use the generic feed rate of your machine tool. In this case it would ignore that or you can put the value in there. So you just select the point you want to uh, probe move it over here just a little bit and we're just going to hit on redo here okay so that's that one there then I went in and did all the others here as you can see this one here the next point over here I wrapped it to Z0 because this is about a quarter inch down if I turn on my Dimensions, you can see this is about a quarter inch down. So I wrapped it to zero. When I'm done, I went up to a half an inch above the part here. And some of these various depths, so as you can see, I went down some of these different depths on here. That one there. That one there. That one's a little lower there. You can see that's three quarter deep, so I wrapped it to negative half inch and then came up to half inch above the part when I probed. Now, as far as the uh, code goes, this is going to be from whatever uh, probing software uh, you have in the machine combined with the post to output that G code you need to probe your part. So let me show you how that looks so far. So I'm just going to single block. There's your probe, as you can see. I'm just going to single block through some of this. So there's the top. The next one, top of there. Top of that boss there. And that one there. We'll go over 
and probe the face of that, and the last part, probe the surface there. So that's just basic probing, and of course we'll have it for Fanuc, Siemens, Heidenhain, uh, Mitsubishi, etc. Uh, whether you're using a Renshaw probe or a uh, Bloom probe or uh, the ones Haas uses, which is a Renshaw probe with the Haas name on it, and a few different other ones as well. We can do uh, just about any probe that's out there. So the next one I want to show you is, let's get down to uh, the next one here. The next one you have is uh, probe uh, shapes, generic. So if I click on change process, you can see now I'm selecting shapes. So what we want to do here first is I want to probe the bore here. So I'm going to... Um, Wrap it a quarter inch above Z0. And I'm going to choose a circular pocket. And you can do a measurement or work fixture. So if you want to just measure it and give the output of that location, you can. Or you can say, I want to do a set of work fixture after you set that. And what work fixture do you want to set? G54, 55, 56, whatever you'd like to set. So it has that as well. Now under the uh, alarms, you can either have an alarm, you can give it a tolerance, so when it probes and it finds the hole is undersized, it's going to pop up an alarm. Or you can say, go to, and it's going to go to, this is going to bring up an alarm here because we don't have a uh, uh, post processor set up for this uh, demo I'm showing. Um, so you can have it pop up an alarm or it can just continue on even after it measures. Or, like I say, go to, and you can have it go to a specific end number if you'd like to and recut it however you'd like to uh, probe your part and continue on or recut. And how deep do you want to go? So I'm going to go half inch deep. So I'm going to be inside the bore about a, a quarter inch or so. And you can either choose four point or three point. Now, if you choose three point, it's going to ask you the angles you'd like to do. So uh, either way, you can do that. So if I click on redo, can see it probed the bore. That's using geometry, of course. I just selected the circle there. Next one, I'm going to probe a boss this time. So basically the same thing, circular boss. Give it your depth and do that one. And you can see it's going around probing the boss. The next one, this time I'm going to probe, uh, we're just doing a uh, generic shape as well, but um, this time I'm going to choose the rectangular pocket. So over here, rectangular pocket, again, put in the depth there, and you can use the profiler on this as well. You don't have to have uh, geometry necessarily. If I want to bring out the profiler, drag it to whatever I'd like to inside the bore, click on it, and click on do it, in this case redo, you can see it's going to probe the rectangular pocket there. Next one, we're going to do a rectangular outside pocket. So rectangular boss. Now you can choose whether to uh, probe X and Y, which we're doing here. In most cases, you do, uh, but not always. Or you can probe X only or Y only. So you have a choice there on how you'd like to probe that. And again, measurement or set of work fixture, and again, alarms or, or go to uh, a specific end number in your program. Okay, same thing we're doing here, the boss, uh, rectangular boss over here. And you can give it a, um, of course, your depth and the boss clearance. So you may not want it to go out that quite that far. So maybe I'll change that to quarter inch, click on redo, and you can see it's a little bit closer there. And how do you want to retract up and over? You know, that's uh, based on this as well. Next one. Another uh, rectangular boss. Here we're getting close to the floor there, but coming up and missing the uh, round boss right here. Next one. We're probing the corner there. So you can either probe the corner there, or if you'd like to probe more uh, in the center, which I'm doing here, let me turn off my dimensions, 
you can draw a line, and when you click on this point, Gibbs is going to probe halfway between the length of this line. So if I did redo, you can see it's probing halfway on that line and down my depth. Here I am probing a single surface, in this case the Y. And again, I just brought up the profiler and it's just going to choose halfway between here since I just uh, since it goes clear around the part it's going to just choose halfway here because I'm doing it from the Y I'm doing it from the negative side and of course you could choose from the positive side if you'd like as well so if you'd want to do that there it's from the positive side then of course you have the X or Z as well and last one corners so you can choose what corner if you'd like to probe the corner. Uh, if you don't choose any geometry, it's going to use the stock size. So if I just said redo, you can see it's just going to choose the stock size there. Okay. Now if I decided to go a little bit farther, not just on the corner where this radius kind of blends in there, if I want to go a little bit farther down, then I can choose to add different values to that. So right now I have an X distance Y of one inch. So that's basically pretty much on the corner there, starting to get into the radius there. So that's really not what I want. I want it to go past that. So maybe I'll say you can go down two inches on each side, probe that, and you can see now we're down on two inches there past that to get a good corner. And of course you can see you can choose different corners. You can do multiple touches if you'd like. So a number of ways you could do it and the distance apart. Also, if you'd like to choose a different corner. Over there. Maybe this corner over here. So this is a basic rundown of the new probing routine that Gibbs is coming out with. So and the last thing I want to show you, of course, is the rendering. Slow that down a little bit. And let's let the, row, the probe run through the part here. The, the edge over there, edge over there and Y, and the corner. You can also do angles as well. And this corner over here, last of all. And there we're finished. Well, actually, one more touch, sorry. All right, now we're finished. So that's your probing routine, Gibbs Cam 14. Thanks for watching.